Hello and welcome. My name is Sheep Thief, and today I'll be coming at you with a 101v1 online YouTube Let's Play analysis. Here we are up on the hill, uh, overlooking this this beautiful uh, valley, which will soon become a horrible hellscape. So uh, let's take a look at the um, the compositions. So we've got over here we have Sand Sniper playing the something th pan second panzer grenadier division uh he's got some falsham jaeger and a milan squad going up to charlie or yes charlie then two falsham jaegers pushing forward and then three two leopards um yeah two leopards in a command car and then some Panzerfaust Jaeger and an IHawk and actually another command vehicle. It's yes. Meanwhile, I oh what? Where's all my stuff? What? Where? Where's my army? I'll tell you where my army is. Uh, I have two Cobras, two uh, Jammer helicopters. Um, these are for spying. Um, and then two German ladies up here. These are German ladies that 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 scout for us, and then um, a and then three more German ladies down here for scouting. And then, uh, yeah, basically, I'll I'll give you five seconds to guess what I'm doing. Pause the video. All right. Yeah, you guessed right. I'm A10 warthog rushing. <coughs> so, um, yeah, that's where all my points are. But anyway, let's go. We can speed it up in the beginning here. So I usually wait a little bit to send out the A-10s because, first of all, I don't quite know if they come out high enough to set an alarm for them. So just to delay that, and then also you don't even have any information about where they are until these get. I get. I think like I think I could have waited a little longer there. So these come out, and we'll slow down here. These are jamming helicopters. Um, they have a ton of ECM, and look, they, they have this big area where they can get a lot of uh, info. So usually when I'm A-10 rushing, I don't go for the first ones, although in this case it would have been a good idea because I think these Fallschirmjäger are, are decent units, but usually these are scouts up in the beginning. I send my two fighters around here almost to just sort of provoke him to send his out if, if he has a plane but also to just kind of get some vision. They aren't very good for that though. And then right here we get a nice clean uh, strafe on this um, on this uh, column here and two leopards go down along with some Jaeger, two Jaeger Panzerfausts. Uh, meanwhile here these Fallschirm Jaegers that came into the city come into the waiting arms of these uh, Cobras. So we're out of AT weapons but these can still cause trouble. Um, out here we're, we're coming up on a minute and usually this is where uh, the response to this is a a plane which is indeed what happens F-16 comes out uh, we send our we actually got a plane so at, at one minute I got a plane as well sort of anticipating this although in retrospect I think that was a little excessive if you the problem with this strat okay yeah so that the the, uh, the Cobras do find his command vehicle um, and take it out, but uh, and then he gets another another plane out, um, and we trade here. We actually destroy one of his planes, and um, we get out with all of our planes. So that was that was lucky for us. Um, meanwhile, here there's a there's a cool fight here between the German ladies who have um, MP5A3s, which are for anyone who knows about guns, kind of a a light weapon that are utterly routing these. Uh, these Jaeger Panzerfaust, bigger squad with uh, very serious weapons, um, machine gun and an MG3 Panzerfausts and a G3A4, I don't know what that is actually, I think there's another word that that goes by, I forget, I'm not super well informed about guns, so, and the Cobras finish it off, but yeah, good for the German ladies. Um, and so just at this moment, we're, this was a pretty big success, the, the uh, A-10 Warthogs, they had to leave because they are out of fuel. But they've killed a lot of stuff. Um, but as you can see, there is still a serious um, 
I don't think that this strategy is overpowered. Um, because, like, look at my map right now. I have some German ladies sitting around and some recon helicopters and a plane that just had to back out uh, and then two Cobras. The two Cobras being really the only meat on the field here. These literally don't have weapons, these recon helicopters. Um, they're weirdly tanky, but and, but other than that, we've got like five-man squads of German girls. Um, and um, then like a lone engineer squad and and that's really the risk of having to get that third fighter pilot or fighter jet with your your first tick and then the other issue is that he's um, Sam Sniper has done a good job of capping everything up here so I'm ticking down he's ticking up at plus four I'm still at zero he's getting a major lead um, but on the plus side everything in here was cleared out literally there's nothing on the map all of this coming up belongs to him and we're basically kind of at square one here with me having some Cobras and engineer squad and a lot of vision uh, and really honestly that is a good trade um, now what I haven't talked about here is the uh, the presence that he has up here on Charlie which I think in retrospect this is easy to say in the replay I don't think it would be easy to come to this conclusion when you're playing um, would be to send this down uh, and start and get it up off of there and down into the valley because with this included he does have a more troops than I do on the field by far so I do get my command vehicle out it gets uh it brings us down to a plus two but he's still he's at 500 it's coming up on this it's gonna slow it down even more he sends up some panzer grenadier and some geppards cool uh, anti-helicopter units. He makes a pretty big mistake here in my opinion by not um, sending them along the road and just going straight into the city. Um, again, easy to say in the replay, in the game, like from his perspective, he literally can't see anything and is probably assuming that this whole place is crawling with my troops, but I think um, it's another reason why I don't think that this A-10 rush is overpowered. Like th the only reason this is going well is that the A-10s didn't die and he didn't bring enough AA. If he'd been brought one IHOC, if that IHOC had been down here, if um, he'd brought like a couple of these in the beginning, I would be the one losing and probably having to surrender already at this point. So I, I don't think it's an overpowered strategy. Uh, I don't know. I, I get why it's frustrating, but I don't really think it's broken or anything or cheesy. Uh, it's just like... It's so... It's it's a, it's risky, which is how it should be. Anyway, so a bunch of Panzer Grenadiers come through this forest right as I come here. Um, and again, I, I think if he just stayed in the cars and moved forward, uh, he'd be in a good in a better a gooder a better position. Um, Hima shoots and open up from this from the uh, from this mall here, whatever this is, office building. And there's a big fight in the air here with his F-16s getting a really good like um, flank over on my on my F-16s, and both crash into the hillsides with him achieving air superiority, and me having absolutely no uh, um, a a my A-10 Warthogs engage one of the F-16s that comes at them. One of them goes down. One of my A-10s has to retreat, and then there's this battle between this uh, this A-10 and this F-16 here. Um, definitely a cool fight. And he backs off. He doesn't like it. Um, Heimaschutzen engineers and Heimaschutzen kill two, like three Panzer Grenadier squads that try to push through that forest. A uh, high explosive bomb comes in on these German ladies in the Heimaschutzen. It's, it's, a, it's a success. Siad comes in and takes out that high explosive bomb bomber, um, but it can't quite get around and then it comes under Geppard fire. It takes quite a bit of damage before it can get out of there. But all of this is ultimately buying me time to, to solidify my position here. I brought an M1A1A cav up pretty aggressively. I was sort of, my, my plan here was to just sort of micro this and make sure that he's not pushing into this 
this sector. It opens up on these uh, Jaegers that are trying to cross out this open field. It doesn't seem fun. They take some damage. Um, tornado takes out the last uh, jammer. Actually, no, I still have my jammer heli over here, but the, the forward one over here gets taken out. I probably should have pulled it back a little bit. This jammer heli is still uh, looking good. Pull the M1A cap back because uh, I'm worried about these Jaegers coming around. They do have Panzerfausts and uh, those with side shots and, and my my M1A A1A cap was right here. I was worried about them wrapping around and killing it. There's a bit of a lull here. Again, I'm, I'm just trying to hold these positions and then reinforce. We've got M1A1A uh, M1A1 Abrams pulling up a bunch of uh, Martyr Milans with Panzer Grenadier teams on them. These things have Milans, which can. I'm I'm a little worried about these leopards. I I feel like leopards are kind of hit or miss. And speaking of, here we go. Battle between M1A1 A Cav and uh, a, two leopards. Get the first shot on the M1A Cav. Both of his one shot misses, one grazes. He pops smoke, but the I shoot beforehand and get it. The leopard comes up in front of the. Uh, the smoke and then I the A10 that's still hanging out finishes it off with a, a cheeky blast. But as I as I show it there, he's like, no, I'm not letting you get away with that, and he sends his tornado to go kill it. And this is where I realize I should have realized this a minute ago, two minutes ago, three minutes ago. Really, like this is a weakness of this uh, strategy is that I have no AA, and so he can just sail over and shoot down my my warthog which dies I think in the exact same place that the other one died so they can they can the whites of these uh, soldiers these can haunt this hill for the next few centuries uh, meanwhile over here again another problem with AA not being on the field is these anti-tank helicopters open up on this valuable command tank which is sort of in the middle of nowhere I'm not really sure what I was thinking about that just Maybe trying to control this area, although I, that the positioning there could have been way better. Pop smoke and retreat across this valley. Definitely should have been retreating back to these trees instead of trying to get back to the safety of the city, even though there is no safety when you don't have any AA. And so the uh, BO-105 shoots its uh, ATGM, snakes across the field, and gets a nice, a nice uh, side shot right there. And that's. Uh, uh, unfortunate loss. I do my uh, fighter plane does come and kill those, but his fighter plane then subsequently kills mine. And once again, I'm losing the air superiority here. What happened here? Oh, he fires a missile at one of the Cobras too. So that was a good run with this F-16. Very good run. Um, and yeah, so I do have a plus two. I am catching up. Um, and he is pushing forward with lepers. He does have a bit of a foothold here because I've, I've been... I don't know. I'm just behind. I sent some German ladies to make sure that I still have good vision. Uh, the Panzer, Grenadier, Martyr, Milan teams are showing up and as you can see I, I didn't... I got the memo about not having AA. I've got some Stingers and an IHawk coming up. Meanwhile, again, I think if he was pushing down here, he could be putting a lot more pressure on me and feel a lot more comfortable. Instead, he's massing up here. I guess he's just worried about a, an attack here, which is, which is, I understand. In retrospect, it wasn't correct, but I understand. Now there's a fight between the Leopards and these M1A1 Abrams in the same place. M1A1 Abrams takes out that first one. Um, and there's another fight here. Really horrible miss on the part of my M1A1 Abrams there. The recon tank is like not in the right position. Another miss from the M1A1 Abrams. That one's a hit though. Uh, tornadoes come and take out the last uh, jammer helicopter. And now I have the ACAV hitting it as well. And yeah, at this point I'm sort of like unimpressed with the leopards. Although I feel like I've had games against them where they completely destroy me. So... Not quite sure. Not quite sure what to make of them. Uh, the Abrams are killing this infantry that he's pushing forward now, and it's just sort of a massacre. But a heavy, they do create enough space for a heavy bomber to come, destroy an M1A1 and a Stinger team. 
Um, over here. Oh, the Harrier goes down. I don't know how I killed that Harrier. Maybe the IHawk. Okay, yeah, so the IHawk is, is doing what it needs to do. Um, but it's out of ammo now. But a Stinger fires and at least wounds that that Harrier. A lot of damaged units in here. Um, I set up sort of a supply depot here, which I, I think in retrospect... Or maybe, I, I don't think anything that bad happened here, but there have been games where I've been setting up these sort of repair areas um, a little too far forward and he sees them, pe people see them and bomb them. Uh, I send this M1A ones away from its repair, I'm like, okay, just hold off on getting repaired now. Send that and this M1A cab to take care of this Fuchs. Um, not really sure what this does. Uh, is it just like a recon thing? I'm not really sure what the point of that is. Uh, my my tanks are having a, a a lot of trouble hitting it though. It finally comes to a stop and gets hit. But I guess the uh, sort of radial velocity there was too much for the the tank turrets. Hyma shoots in, doing a brave job of holding this back. And now there's a there's ATGM fire coming at what are they aiming at? Um, but we have a stinger that is aiming at them. They're going for the Milan. No, they're going for the ACAV and they get a good hit on it, but uh, the stinger finally, after missing a lot, does get a hit. Another one comes forward. That one a one ACAV is like revealing itself as it shoots at the uh, Panzer Grenadier Martyr. ATGM moves forward, but this time I pull it back and I think... Oh, I pop smoke, okay. Over here there's a buildup of Pioneers and these Heimerschutzen are doing a great job of um, holding back this this German Jaeger push they do route but uh, like so a lot of stalling for a a weak unit Pen, uh, martyrs harassing these um, Jaegers as they come in and I keep trying to repair these but it's, it's really not um, these trucks are not good at repairing. I don't quite understand how supply works in this game, and I've noticed that the helicopters that I bring seem to do a better job of it than the trucks, so uh, I send one of the helicopter supplies over here and back up the M1A on ACAV to go heal. Um, I think what my opponent should be doing now is really pushing forward with these Jaegers and putting the pressure on me so I don't get a uh, as much of a build up as I'm getting, but you know, of course, that's easier said than done. And this, the point of this is not to shame anyone here. As a matter of fact, I think he handled this whole situation quite well given the circumstances. Um, yeah, again, a big build up here. I think, I think it's just, I think there's just uncertainty on his part. I think a b more recon to just get an idea of what I'm doing would be useful. Um, it always feels better for me when I have a bunch of the German ladies on the front line, like, watching. I send this, um, command M1A1A calf forward, uh, but a ATGM does... Hmm, I guess temporarily got a lock on there. Jaegers are routed because of that, though. Uh, Milan gets forced back by something here, but lives, so that's good that they did that. Jaeger's going to go down to this M1A1 Abrams. Panzer Grenadier is holding. Uh, I should be moving the Heimerschützen forward at this point. Something gets a shot off on that Leopard. Panzer Grenadier. Another one gets a nice hit there. It's routed. Uh, can it do it? It can. So three shots with that, uh, that Panzer Grenadier Martyr do a great job right there. Martyr and Leopard start having a duel here. The Leopard misses and the Martyr gets a hit. Leopard pops smoke. Leopard and an M1 A1 Abrams start having a duel. ATGM comes forward from the plane to start trying to hit this M1 A1 Abrams. It does do damage but an ATGM from the Milan goes next to this Leopard and he pops smoke at the last minute getting away. This ATGM snaking through, snaking through. Almost really bad. Artillery starts to rain down on this forward position. And honestly, I'm content to just let them die just to hold the vision. I don't know if that's wise or not, but they do end up going down. 
ATGM goes on the Leopard and stuns it. I send the M1A with it. I, I remember raging right here. I was like, how can this see it and this can't? I was like trying to figure out where to send that. ATGM is like, I think it's like, now I'm out of ATGM's. Yeah, I'm depleted. And so I miss out on that Leopard kill. And I was pretty irritated by that. Leopard fires M1A when Abrams doesn't end up getting it. I should have backed it up. So push, there's a infantry set up here. I do have a, a massive lack of uh, control of this. I was a little worried that he was pushing around here because I, I wasn't really seeing many units. Um, but I think it's just because he's kind of pushing him up piecemeal. Uh, this is a good idea. He pushes along here. And I think this is going somewhere sort of to control this region in here. This is always hard to fight over. Uh, and I'm short on infantry, so it's always, it's always a... This is also a great bombing target. Looks like there's a bit of a lull here. I think we could even speed it up a little bit. We're both kind of setting up. He sends he sends another uh, artillery bombardment in, but it doesn't seem to be particularly well informed. I think that might have just been a guess. M1A when ACAV pushes up there again to try to control this. This has recently been healed down here by the supply helicopter. And um, M1A when ACAV does see something. What does it see? What do you see? Okay, we'll slow it back down. Okay, so he, he unloads some infantry up in this position right here, which is good. Um, two leopards move forward and start to engage something. What do they see? I'm on A1 Abrams. En engine damaged. We're going to have a duel here. This one isn't firing. It needs to move forward. I pop smoke and start b moving back with a damaged engine. This is out of... Uh, missiles. I think I finally noticed that and pull back. I set up a stinger here. These two could move forward. It looks like I send the high machutes in forward to kind of probe. Jaguar finds something to fire at. Looks like it's my M1A1 ACAV down the road. And scares my M1A1 ACAV. Let's see how long it takes me to re react. Uh, uh, back up. Back off. High machutes in come into contact with the pioneers. Jaguar I th moves forward into position. These two leopards could be moved forward into position to where that one healed. Jaguar fires at the M1A1 Abrams and gets a good hit. But the M1A1 Abrams does uh, pop it in the end. But now this is this is sort of sitting deck duck. He sends in a high explosive harrier. Presumably to finish the job over here as these two Falsham Jaegers come to engage a Panzer Grenadier and a Stinger. Uh, IHawk engages the Harrier, it goes down, and the bomb misses. I think he just got unlucky there, although I might have been moving a little bit, which might have helped. We've got the Martyr, the Milan, a, m a Martyr, and a Panther Grenadier fighting and shooting at these two Stingers. I think if he'd gotten that bomb off, it might have been better. The Milan fires. And these Fallschirm Jaeger look like they're having a hard time. He correctly, after having running into that IHawk fire, sends his CADs, and I think I'm starting to learn that I need to turn off my radar. Um, this IHawk fires, gets a nice shot off. I'm out of ASF, by the way, or uh, fighters. And this one's out of ammo, so it doesn't it doesn't get the kill, but. It goes over some stingers and does go down. This stinger fires at this one, gets a hit off. So, so that's the last we'll see of them. But it did kill one of my eye hawks, which is what they're there to do. So, on the next one, perhaps artillery starts to rain down on this position, and I'm like, oh my goodness! I just played a game against. Um, 
an East German player who was so good at hitting my tanks with uh, really powerful artillery and it would kill M1A1 Abrams really effectively. So I back way up, send them the lawns forward to try to keep this sort of coverage. Uh, the um, tornadoes take down my warthog, but one of the tornadoes goes down to a stinger. The other one fires, and yeah, it has to it has to go away. Um, I send out my own Siad, which. It looks like he's turning off his radar. It fires, and it's a total failure. So I, I think he's turning off. Well, wait, is he? I don't really know how that works. I need to get better at that. C ads are. Um, also, someone told me it's pronounced seed. I like Siad more, and so the military can go and uh, they can deal with it. Uh, all of my IHawks are completely out of ammo, so I'm sending supply up. I think, yeah, the supply is doing a wave of supply here, and just getting a kind of build up of M1A1s, command M1A1s to hold on to this stuff. Um, I'm s I'm feeling pretty confident here because of the amount of leopard leopards that he sent forward and that I've managed to kill. Um, and now my AA network is is strong enough that I'm starting to have confidence in that leopards fire. Uh, this this uh, anti tank helicopter gets a good shot on my uh, M1A1. Um, Stingers shoot down the tornado, uh, and at this point, I'm kind of thinking that I'm going to move forward. Um, I fire, I sort of send forward some units and engage this build up over here um, to, to sort of a mediocre result. He does pull off quite wounded, but it wasn't like a total collapse. I could see how if there were like f f 10 of these leopards that it would be a, f a nightmare. Uh, I think he, he should have been, well, I mean, uh, I think I'm seeing how this could be a problem, but with this small number versus the big number of stuff I have, it, it wasn't that scary. Um, an another infantry squad goes down. 1A1A cav is targeted with a ATGM and there's a big leopard or some kind of special leopard and he does get control of the uh, the command post and then fires at my M1A1A cav M1A1 command vehicle and it goes down and at this point I'm like oh my god you gotta be kidding me um, cause you know he can still win here if he if he causes a total breakdown um, but uh, yeah, I was a little nervous about that. There's now no tick for either side. That was a good kill on his part. Like I, I don't even understand how he did that. I think it might have just been poor positioning on my part. I should have pulled it back further this way, but still, interesting fight. Stinger opens up on this anti-tank helicopter that's out of ammo anyway, so it pulls back. And the buildup continues. He still, as you noticed, hasn't moved any of this down. Like, like a Milan in here, infantry moving down here would be a nice distraction for me. I think he kind of tunnel visioned on holding this line and taking this. Um, and honestly, that's one of the, I th in my opinion, that's one of the bonuses of the A-10 Warthog rush is that you it causes like his, uh, hysteria is too strong of a word it causes um an immediate aberration in the plan uh, uh, the, the, it, no matter what happens the plan is going to have to change if you're getting A-10 rushed 
and some people seem to manage it fine and other people seem to kind of lock up a little bit this guy I don't think is one of the people that locked up usually the people that locked up surrender early this guy stuck it out and was was trying stuff but in retrospect looking at the map with total information he should have been coming down this way uh, nice um, artillery bombardment kills a Jaguar and an M1A1 Abrams and with that I just send a general command forward I, I'm not really I kinda wanted to be done uh, my Milan opens up on this and kills a something a Jaguar of his own or is that my Jaguar yeah he's Jaguar uh, these infantry are doomed. Um, this, in this uh, area, is a general advance. As you can see, fire has erupted across this once peaceful plain. We'll watch it from the place that we uh, were watching from the beginning. And as you can see, it's all very horrible. World War Three doesn't seem fun. Uh, tornado gets hit. Actually, seems uh, I take that back. It actually seems super fun, uh, if I'm going to be honest. He sends out a plane to try to stem this advance. Uh, fails. Bunch of martyrs going down, but that's okay. That's kind of what they're there to do. Uh, this Jaeger is holding out out to the last man, surrounded by my infantry. Hold up in this sort of warehouse back here. Over here, there's a, a fight over here with these infantry trying to hold hold their ground, but they're just getting completely surprised by tank fire. This Jaeger, we'll watch him. He's doing a good job. He kills a lot of stuff over there. He kills a bunch of stingers that I just uh, attack moved forward. Uh, he's out, unfortunately, of uh, anti-tank rocket launchers. Otherwise, he might have gotten a kill on that right there. There's a breakthrough here and a bunch of uh, units that were sort of backed up over here get get killed and then there's a, a push up here that's sort of these orders need to be updated. This is too far forward. When that smoke goes down they're going to get cleared out. These pioneers are doing a good job of holding the line. Um, and finally those those Jaeger those Jaegers there do kick the bucket. Leopard manages to get back very wounded. Fresh Leopard does fire at a Milan, stemming the tide. This Leopard opens up uh, and destroys a Milan that was facing a stupid direction right there. But then this Leopard goes down as well. Um, over here, there's a fight with the Panzer Grenadier Martyr right there. Pivads open up on it. This Leopard moves daringly forward. Uh, it's stunned. The Leopard goes down. This Panzer Grenadier is the last one he has on this house. He just gets peppered in fire. And now it's just some IHOX and some supply back here. Not much to speak of. I continue to pincer around the the, um, the town, although I tell my tanks to wait as I get the infantry kind of moved up. This attack, I didn't know. I, th I thought he might have more units in here. Um, and... I get my command Abrams up into here, bringing me up to a plus four. We do take over the sector. M1A1 is wrap around the back of the town. IHawk goes down. And the, the sector is ours. And from here, we have basically won the game. So I will pause it and give some final thoughts. Really, it's just uh, my, my rush, my A10 rush went very well. Uh, is how the whole thing started and it's I again I think if it doesn't go well it often goes badly it's sort of like either really good or really bad um, 
and this time it was really good but I don't think it's OP because when it goes bad you kind of lose so it's definitely fun though um, I think some of the things I learned are just to get AA set up because the even if all of your aircraft survives it has to go reload and repair for a while so you were uh, and for anyone who wants to defend against an A10 rush in my opinion there's a there's something to be said for doing your own air like uh, swarm although I think from now on I'm gonna set up AA faster um, you need to get some infantry into here to like hold it but AA for sure um, yeah uh, even just the like uh, the pivads which can do some suppression and um, kill any helicopters that are coming in um, even and they're cheap that's that's why I say even just some of that although I think ideally some like stingers and eyehawks earlier on than I did because there, there was a point where he he got control of the air um, and it was almost bad as for what he should have done differently, I don't really know. I don't know about these leopards and stuff, so I don't really know about this deck. But again, I think that he he had more on the field than he realized because this could have all moved down and um, caused trouble. Uh, I I think it's just it's it's so hard to know what your opponent has, and so there's this feeling that oh they have a huge they have tons of stuff and everything's going wrong and so I'm not gonna attack early um, is unwise but I th I'm sure with experience that you can start to feel that like what how much they have And I had like nothing like I told you earlier I had some German ladies two Cobras that's about it but anyway let's um let's look at the stats So our KD wasn't bad, not amazing, but not bad. Yeah, the A-10s did pretty well, especially this one. It got um, a bunch of Jaegers and two Leopards right in the beginning there. And then this one got an F-16, which basically pays for itself, and a Leopard, and a Jaeger. Like, if you if they get the kills, then it, I think it's worth it. So I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep working on this rush, but. Anyway, um, the Cobras did all right. They got some of those early Jaegers, and that that's good for just like clearing the way for your next wave of infantry to make it in. This one got a command vehicle. Yeah, three infantry squads down. That's that's pretty good. Uh, more than pain itself, I think probably by at least two times. So, Heimerschutzen. Always, always a strong unit. M1A1 ACAB winning its tank fights. My planes were a disappointment this time. Um, the tanks. Oh yeah, look at that. Very good. Martyr Milans. Oh yeah, I ha I didn't have the I had the martyrs without the Milans in the deck for the last three days. So for for like most of the games I've played with this division, and I only recently realized what was wrong and switched it to the Milans, and instantly things have been better. Uh, M1A1, yeah, sort of doing okay. For my opponent, his to his airplay was really strong. Uh, so uh, for for getting A10 rushed, he he I think did a good job of of trying to stay in there. Um, his artillery did okay. These Jaegers did really well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any replays that you want me to look at, then talk to me in the comments and I will we will coordinate and I will do them. I don't care if you're a noob, I don't care if you're a pro. I just would enjoy watching them and, and seeing which ones you guys think are cool. So, uh, good luck and I'll see you guys in the next one.